Hey guys, I'm Jayesh and you're watching Hustle TV. In this video, we will see unicorn startups in Singapore. At number 4, we have PatSnap. PatSnap, short for Patents in a Snap, is an artificial intelligence software that enables users to navigate the research and development landscape affordably and with ease. PatSnap's patented machine learning and AI-powered technology goes through billions of patents, non-patent literature, legal information and scientific papers, commercial papers, and helps to remove noise from useful information, thus helping you innovate faster. Apart from consolidating patents and litigation data filed to eliminate accidental infringement, it also builds roadmap of trends, allowing businesses and investors to see where innovation is heading. PatSnap was founded by Jeffrey Tiong in 2007. The idea to start PatSnap came to Tiong, a National University of Singapore student, when he participated in an 18-month work -com study program for entrepreneurial-minded students in the US. Tiong attended Wharton School at the University of Philadelphia part-time and was assigned a job at a medical device startup, where he looked after companies, patents, and intellectual property assets. Kyong quickly found out that the world of patents and scientific papers is difficult to navigate and there are not many resources to help you out. The only free search tool available were government websites, while access to professional database could cost companies up to $100,000 annually. To make the R&D landscape easy to navigate and approachable, he decided to start PatchSnap. Kyong returned to National University of Singapore to finish his last semester, incubating the idea of PatchSnap for almost a year until he graduated. Then in 2007, he founded PatSnap with a 55,000 grant from the National University of Singapore. As of April of 2021, PatSnap has raised a total of $350 million in over six rounds of funding from investors like Sequoia Capital China, SoftBank Vision Fund, Tencent, Summit Partners, giving it a valuation of $1 billion, thus becoming a unicorn. At number three, we have Trax. Trax is a tech startup founded in 2010 by Joel Barrel and Dror Feldem, which is working to improve efficiency in the retail sector. It does this by using artificial intelligence, image recognition and machine learning engines to convert store images into shelf insights. The technology can recognize products that are identical such as branded drinks or shampoo bottles, but also differentiate between them based on variety and size. The algorithm can determine the availability, assortment, shelf space, pricing, promotions, shelf location, and special arrangements like arranging a product display from left to right according to price. Basically, Trax allows retailers to understand what is happening on shelf in every store all the time so they can focus on better serving their customers. Retail Watch, one of Trax's products, uses a combination of computer vision, machine learning, and hardware like cameras and autonomous robots to gather real-time data about the shelf availability of products. It sends alert if stock is running low, corrects pricing errors, and checks if product display plans for visual merchandising are being followed. With Trax's data and insights, retailers gain granular, SKU-level visibility to changing store conditions. This helps them to plan and execute their retail strategy better and engage better with shoppers. Trax is used by some of the biggest brands in the world like Coca-Cola, Nestle, Unilever, P&G, Heineken, Best Buy, Sam's Club, and many more. As of April of 2021, Trax has raised over $1 billion in over 10 rounds of funding from investors like BlackRock, SoftBank Vision Fund, Broad Peak Investment, giving it a valuation of $2 billion. At number three, we have Yairud. Yairud is an engineering company that undertakes the overall planning, design, construction, operation, and maintenance of shared fiber networks. They provide access to their network through the sale and leasing of fibers within their networks to communication service providers. Yairud Communication Group Limited was founded in 2015 by Zinglong Huang. Yairud builds nationwide backbone networks which interconnect urban and rural areas across the country. They build metro duct networks which connect local area networks within the same metropolitan area to each other. They also build submarine cable networks which comprises of cable laid in the seabed between land-based stations and carry communication signals across the stretches of ocean. As of April of 2021, Yairud Communication Group has raised a total of $263 million in funding. In 2019, Yairud signed a milestone deal with the government of Philippines to roll out fiber optic cable network in the country. Yairud is also a member of the international consortium that collectively owns AAE-1 and approximately 25,000 kilometers of international submarine cable running from Southeast Asia to Europe through Egypt, which began operation in 2017. As of December of 2020, Yairut is valued at $3.5 billion. 
And at number one, we have Grab. Grab is an all-in-one super app that lets you book rides, order food and groceries, send couriers, book hotels, get a travel insurance and make payments from your mobile phone. The idea of creating a taxi booking mobile application for Southeast Asia first came to Anthony Tan while he was studying at Harvard Business School. Motivated to make taxi rides safer in Malaysia, Tan launched My Taxi application in Malaysia in 2012 along with Tan Hui Ling, another Harvard graduate. My Taxi started with an initial grant of $25,000 from Harvard Business School and Anthony Tan's personal capital. To run a taxi booking business, you need drivers and taxis. Hence, initially, both the co-founders would hang out at various taxi parking spots and at airports. There, they would pitch the idea of Grab to all the drivers one by one and sign up as many drivers as they can. By 2013, Grab expanded to Singapore, Thailand and Philippines and in 2014, they launched Grab Bikes as well. In 2014, Grab raised more than $10 million in Series A funding round from Vertex Ventures followed by $15 million Series B round from Chinese venture capital firm GGV Capital. The same year in December, Grab managed to raise $250 million in Series D funding from SoftBank Group. And in August of 2015, Grab raised more than $350 million in Series E funding round from a range of investors including Chinese ride-hailing platform Didi Chuzing and China Investment Corporation. All these massive investments were used to transform Grab from just a car booking application to courier delivery service, food and grocery deliveries, mobile payments, hotel bookings and much more. In March of 2018, Grab even acquired Uber's operation in Southeast Asia by giving Uber 28% stake in Grab. As of April of 2021, Grab has raised more than $12 billion in over 33 rounds of funding from big investors like SoftBank, Didi, Honda, Mitsubishi, Toyota, giving it a valuation of $15 billion, making it Southeast Asia's first Decacon. While doing research, I also found Carousel, property guru, being listed at Unicorn Startups, but I couldn't find enough data to back it up, hence have not included them in the list. Apart from these, C, Lazada and Razer were past unicorns but they lost their tag as C, a game developer and publisher and Razer, a gaming hardware company, went public and the e-commerce company Lazada got acquired by Alibaba. So that's a wrap for today guys. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please consider subscribing to my channel and do watch out my other videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.